Hi everyone, it's Tracy again from Temperance Tarot and I have another unboxing. This is something I bought for myself and I haven't seen a whole lot of people featuring it on any social media. I did see it on Instagram. I saw it on Tarot by Anya's feed and I've seen it in a few other people's Instagrams but I don't think I've actually seen anyone do a an unboxing first impressions other than the creator. Uh, which was a silent just walk through, flip through of the deck. So I thought I would open this one up and give y'all a look at this deck. And here we have the Lily White Tarot. Now I did not get both of them. I did not get the Lily Black. Um, just too expensive to get both of them. And from what I've seen from pictures on Instagram and such, the white one was the one that really, really stirred me and appealed to me. So let's open it up and have a look. Oh, I love that it's not wrapped up. So oh, here we go. It came, this was on the outside and it's just a very short guide in French and in English of, you know, keywords for each of the, the cards. Has a nice sturdy box, a sturdy white box with a ribbon pull to get things out. Um, just beautiful. It, she did copyright each of the cards. I'm going to have to point that out right away. Uh, there's a tiny copyright with her name on each of the cards. I understand the need to do that. I still don't particularly like it. Um, uh, yeah, and that's all I'll say about that. So let's have a quick, quick flip through of the cards. The Fool. This is near perfect card stock, I think. It's matte without being too matte and rubbery, and we'll shuffle it in a minute and find out. Um, the thickness is is really beautiful. Yeah, we'll we'll see how that shuffles. Let's just leave them up because I'm going to shuffle it. This way you can see more than one at a time. Oh, what a great magician! He has all the elements, the elemental symbols on his fingers or hers. It could be her. High Priestess. Oops, oops, whoops. The Empress. The Emperor. Love that Hierophant. Oh, wow. Just the book and the keys. And that's, that's a woman's hand. So I, I see a nun, but you know, you could see whatever you needed to. The lovers. Not so sure how I feel about that as the lovers card. I mean, I love the, the image of the trees intertwined, but I do like the aspect of choice with the lovers to be there. And trees don't really have a choice where they grow. They grow where they're planted, where their seeds fall. Um, so not really seeing that. The chariot. Justice is eight. The Hermit. The Wheel. That's definitely a cyclical type wheel, more than a Wheel of Fortune in my eyes. Um, that's got less to do with luck and more to do with cycles. Strength. The hanged man. He's being held by a snake. Huh. 
very long snake. Oops, sorry. Wrong way. There's the death card. And temperance. <laughs> She's beautiful. The devil. I can, I can see this. I can see this as the devil, uh, of it being someone who looks like they're there for you, but they really just want to hold on to you. Very interesting tower card. The, um, that's very interesting because deers, deer shed their antlers and grow new ones. So it's not like it's a real catastrophe, but I imagine it feels like it at the time to the deer who has suddenly lost his, his horns, his, the thing that showed how virile he was. Very interesting. Not the end of the world, even though it might feel like it. Look at that beautiful star. And I love this moon and the illusion in the, in the, um, in the reflection. Just fabulous. How things look different. This is the reason I bought the deck was the sun card. You know, just a bright, splashy yellow sun and a couple of sunflowers. I absolutely love it. Judgment, transformation, that whole transformation aspect. Love it. And then the world. Beautiful. Now we're moving into the pentacles or the coins, whichever you prefer. And it's the growth process. And I do have a number at the top, um, an Arabic numeral. Very easy to read. Like many matte decks, they tend to um, kind of cling to one another. But I understand that does um, after after some use that does you know they get they move more easily. that eight of pentacles and then the ten of pentacles and the tens are a direct reflection of the aces so here is our here's our ace of pentacles and how it was and it newly sprouted and just starting to grow and here's our ten of pentacles in full growth The page has a little heart. The knight has, it looks like a little sun. And we do have the elemental symbol here to help as well. The queen has a little symbol with three, <laughs> a three-pointed crown. And the king also has a three-pointed crown, but I guess since one's male and one's female, you can tell them apart. We have the ace of swords, two of swords, three. Interesting. Four of Swords. Very interesting. Hmm. Don't know what to make of that one yet. 
Five of Swords. Yeah, there are no people in my swords. Well, there, no, there were no people in the Pentacles either. Six of Swords. Seven. God, these are such... The reason I bought this deck was because I absolutely love the artwork. These paintings are gorgeous. This... I love this Nine of Swords. It's it, it's more than just the nightmare card. It's you know when you've got all the I've been I've been in this position lately. You've got all these things stressing on you, and you've got so much stressing on your mind that you snap and you start screeching at people. That's what this card says to me. And then the ten. Let's look at that next to the ace. So here we have the ace. It's upright. It, you know, it's pointed upwards. Oh, they do have little symbols here. Couldn't quite see them. Um, it's, it's creating a crown with the, the... There's a lot of incense is what it looks like to me in this. And then in the Ten of Pentacles, we've got the bird is, is dead. And it's been dead for a while. Pages all seem to be children. The knights are headless torsos. <laughs> and then the queen and the king. Then we have the ace of cups. Two of cups. Hmm. Very interesting with the, you really only got two cups there and then the reflection of two other cups. And one of the cups is full and you see the reflection of the full cup. And one of the cups has spilled, but is filling its reflection with the water that it spilled. The five. I left the TV on in the other room. I <laughs> hope you can't hear it. <laughs> Love that Eight of Cups. Nine of Cups. And the Ten of Cups. Let's go back to our Ace of Cups. So the one cup overflowing with the one fish. And now you have 10 cups overflowing with probably 10 fish if I counted them. Page of cups. Knight of cups. Queen of cups. And the king of cups. And now the wands. There's our fox. We have to have a fox and the wand somewhere. Seven of Wands. The fire is withstanding even through the rain. Quite make out exactly what's going on in this one. 
lot of candles in the in the wands. And the King of Wands. Oh, and then back to our our Ten of Wands is a bit different from our Ace of Wands. Um, the the Ace of Wands is so all about new growth and springing forth creativity, and the Ten of Wands is the death of that creativity is what it looks like. Okay, let's zoom back out again. Let's give them a shuffle. It's a pretty thick deck. Um, the edges are white, but look like they're just a tad banged up, but that really doesn't bother me because, you know, if I use it, it's gonna, it's gonna bang it up a little bit anyway. Let's find a size comparison. Uh, here's my Dame Darcy, which is standard tarot size. Um, it feels like almost the exact same cardstock. Uh, these are, yeah, they're the exact same size, standard tarot size. Let's not get those mixed And up. let's give them a shuffle. Lay them out. See what it looks like. Pull a card, maybe. I haven't done that in a while. I'm still feeling a little icky. Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. Oh, yes. Very lovely. Let's pull a card. We have the Hermit. I have been getting messages for the past two to three days in every card I draw that I need to stop trying to do so much and take a step back because I am still not, you know, well and up to 100%. And again, again and again, my spirits are telling me, my guides, God, whatever you want to call it, is telling me to retreat and rest and take care of myself. And once again, here's another card telling me to do the exact same thing. So I am going to wrap up this video. Let's put a few out together so that you get a, an idea for what they might look like in a spread. And there you go. The Lily White Tarot by Celia Melsville. Uh, it did come all the way from France, and I don't remember if I mentioned that before. And I will link to her shop below. I had no trouble ordering it from France, and I did not have to sign for it in the United States. Um, like yesterday's package from Lena, I did have to sign for that one. So thank you all so much for watching, and have a fabulous day.